Hey guys, Parastasis here, and I am back as promised after quickly selling all of my goods. And we are back here at Hilgrun's Tomb. Uh, I'm on my way to Iverset, and this is why I have such a hard time with uh, with this game and getting anything accomplished, is just walking from Whiterun, you know, I discovered the Ritual Stone, had to fight, discovered a bandit hideout, had to clear it. Now, you know, I'm getting a little closer, but Hilgren's Tomb pops up, and, ugh, it's gonna take me forever to finish this game, which I think is fucking badass. It's, you know, most of the time, these days, you know, you pay 60 bucks, and you are lucky if you can get 30 hours of gameplay, and with this one, I've probably got 100 hours already invested in this game, and I haven't even completed the main storyline yet. I haven't even gotten close to completing the main storyline. Well, let's find out who this guy is. Oh, good to know. Can you help me? He's in the tomb doing God's know what with my dead relatives. <laughs> with your dead relatives. <laughs> Maybe he's taking her out, you know, showing her a good time. You never know. Val's Baron. He's gone in to defile our family tomb by using our ancestor for his filthy dark elf necromancy. Oh, that dirty bastard. Alrighty. You let your aunt go in? I'm not proud of it. I'm terrified of this place. Agna knows it. I'm gonna hide behind the woman. That's fucked up. days in there eating the offerings left for our dead before Aunt Agna found me. Can you help me? Yeah, why don't you stay out here, though? <laughs> I'll unlock the door and then I'll meet you inside. Promise I'll come. Promise. Alrighty. Well, actually, he did. Okay. It's funny. He sent his aunt in first and didn't go with her, but he'll come with me. Real what the hell? Oh. I was about to say, alright, well, let's get it on, bitch. Alright, so we've got a dirty necromancer in here doing God knows what to, uh,. His dead family members, which doesn't sound like a party to me, but we'll see. Draugrs, that seems to be standard for most uh, tombs and such. Good news is they drop some good shit. And yes, I will be taking all of these. Alright, we got a trap right there. Last time I tried opening one of these traps, it did not go well, but I will try again. What the hell? Dude. Cramp of my style. I'm trying to explore, damn it. Alright. Coming back up. Let's see if we can open this without killing us. Alright, here we go. Come on. Boom. Traps unlocked. What was the trap? Sometimes you can see it. Maybe those rocks or something. Ooh, that doesn't look very front. Uh, who knows? Something nasty would have happened to me. All right. Well, search the urn. Four gold. You put a trap up for four fucking gold. Good God. This game sometimes. There's nothing else I'm missing. There's the trap. Oh, that would have been dirty, dude. Open that up, get a fistful of Morningstar. Oh, get out of the way, dude. Get out of the way. Get out of the way. Oh, my God. I'm going to have to kill him. Move! Oh, for fuck's sake. There we go. Jeez. Gotta love that, man. <laughs> there really needs to be an ability to, like, bitch slap your companion. Or be like, dude, get off me. Is he one of the ones I can even talk to and tell him to move? Would 
We're sending them home. <laughs> Zombies are never your family members. Alright, that one right there is most definitely a zombie, so I'm just going to run up there and bitch slap him before he can come out. Okay. Um, anytime you see this stuff on the ground, you can light it on fire. Which I would do, except, you know, I don't want to burn... What the hell am I kidding? I definitely want to burn the companion. Alright, let's see. Destruction, flames. Watch this. <laughs> uh, uh. <laughs> yeah, just stand in the fire. <laughs> oh, the small pleasures in life. And there's a. Uh, in the Thieves Guild, there's a quest line where you have to go in. It's in one of my videos. You have to go and. Uh, rob this, I don't know, this beehive honey farm, or honey farm, that just sounds dirty. Um, you have to go and rob that, and in the basement there's a guard, and he's sitting on some oil, so you can light the oil on fire, and it burns him to hell. Hey, Do you, I look like I care? Yeah, no Why shit. You help me get rid of <laughs> Please! He's uh, having sex with my dead, my dead relatives. Please, but don't take anything. Fuck you, man. I'm risking my life to stop him from having dirty relations with your dead family no. members. I can take what I want. Damn. Oh well, no. She looked kind of hot, and then I saw her face. So. Oh well. <laughs> He's having fun. Well, then we will go deeper in. Oh, the, the this quest cracks me up. Uh oh. What's up, Draugr? Oh, damn! It was all like going crazy on that one. Alright, I'm going to start conserving inventory space, since I've only got about... Ah, fuck it. I'll keep loading. When I get full, I can start dropping stuff. Alrighty, nothing here. Always take a look. Okay, like right there, you can see he's got armor on. He doesn't quite look as dead as the rest. That means he's a bad guy. Well, that was interesting. Whoa! Holy fuck! It's like the zombie apocalypse in here. Boom! Alrighty. Well, for somebody who was afraid and sent his, his aunt in, he kind of whoops some ass, so I'm not complaining. Alrighty, what else do we got? Steel ingot. Of course, a treasure chest. Any traps? Not seeing any traps. Alright, see what we got. Ugh. Gotta love that. Oh my god. This is what happens when you have terror. Are you serious? You guys saw that. It was like 99%, and it's like, nope, sorry. Sorry. Good god. And it's only adept. I've had an easier time opening fucking top end ones. Master chests. Anyways, you can search all of these guys while you're coming through. Always a good way to make a little extra cash. What the fuck? Okay. Now I'm poisoned. That's not cool. Always gotta watch the ground and all that shit. <laughs> How did they even get that dude in there? 
I mean, like, seriously. Talk about <laughs> getting the absolute biggest bang for your buck. They're shoving these people in little tiny holes. Holy fuck, don't ever bury me like that. Good God. Alright, that one over there on the top shelf is probably hostile. This one down here, definitely. Alright, he's down, and there weren't any others. I could have sworn this one would be bad, but I guess not. Spiders. There's always fucking spiders in these things. I never understand what it is with spiders and graves. Oh, that doesn't look good. I don't think I want to hang out there. Alright, let's head down and see what else we got. I'm interested to see what this necro's got on him. Another Draugr. Oh, well, guess he actually is dead. What did I pick up? Uh, let's see, I'm about nine pounds over. I'll drop that. Yep, I'll definitely have to come back. Oh, wow, one-shot him. Awesome. Yeah, I'll have to come back here and clean up after I've uh, sold again. Hit this. There we go. I'm trying to get my, uh, my blocking skill up. Oh, damn it. Gonna have to recharge it now. <laughs> All right, Draugr, hit me! Come on, I need I need some skill. Thanks, buddy. Now I'm gonna rip your face off. That's okay with you? Who am I kidding? I don't really care if it's okay with you or not. He said that the bear would show the way. The bear would show the way. Okay, so that would be right there. Well, it wasn't really hard. It was right there next to the bear. But we better keep going. All right, what do we have over here? Nothing. Oh, a Draugr white. Oh, well, he just kind of stood there and let us beat the shit out of him. I like that. Makes it a lot easier on me. Alright. Uh, we'll find out. Holy crap, this is huge. Oh, there he is. Okay. What the fuck? Oh, he's a... What the hell? One of those teleporting fuckers. I haven't seen anybody teleport yet. That's badass. I want that spell. Alright, well, I gotta help kill, kill these things before they kill him. Good god! He is summoning up a storm. Alright, he's down. Come on. Whoops. Come here, little necro. Come here. Ah, oh, it's annoying. Oh my god! This is awesome for skill, though. A Val's veteran dogger. Good god, even more of them. Draugr overlord. What's up, dude? That's the same uh, boss that you fight in the first dungeon when you find the first word of power. I'm just gonna kill the easy ones while he deals with that big one. All right, there's the big Negro. All right, time to heal. This guy's annoying. Another restless dragger. 
Yeah, this loot, this room is gonna have a fuck ton of loot in it when I'm done. Yes, I know, but get out of the way. Thank you for your help and bounds. No problem. Take this and leave me to see Gwen Dagna. My other family. You gonna go play with her corpse, you dirty bastard. Hilgren's chest key. What does he have? Tomb key. Wow. For being such a bastard, he really didn't have anything on him. And there should be a chest or something up here, hopefully. Daddy wants some loot. Unlock door. Expert. Okay. Well, there has to be a chest here somewhere, because he gave me a chest key. And there's no reason to give a chest key unless there's a chest. That's pretty simple. Maybe it's a, maybe that is the door. Yep. Oh ho. Ooh, dwarven helmets. Search apothecary satchel. And use the chest key. Dwarven sword of burning. Banded iron shield. Some nice stuff. Unfortunately, I am going to have to come back and get it all. Alright, door is unbarred. And we're back at the entrance. Alright. I'm going to run out and sell, and then I'm going to come back and scoop all this stuff up. Anyways, that is Helgren's uh, tomb. I will uh, continue on with my journey towards the Greybeards once I... Uh, head back to the uh, Skyrim version of Walmart and dump all my stuff off. So, hope you like this video and like the walkthrough. Please click that like button for me if you did. Uh, click that subscribe button in the upper right hand corner so you don't miss out on any of my other tips, tricks, guides, and walkthroughs. And I will catch you guys in another clip.